basically, um, we hunt white-tailed deer um, and black-tailed deer. My, my experience is mostly with the white-tailed deer because I'm in the northeast part of the country. And white-tailed deer are very elusive and very skittish and very, uh, very uh, uh, tuned in to human beings. So to be a white-tailed deer hunter takes a, a lot of preparation. First of all, you have to know how to conceal yourself in the woods with the use of camo. I mean, even the bow itself is camouflaged. The ca camouflage clothing that you go into the woods with is the same camouflage as the environment that you're going into. If you're going into marshlands to hunt, you've got to have camo that matches the marsh land that you're going into. Pine forests, you have to wear camo that matches the pine. Otherwise, the deer actually can distinguish something that's out of place. They're very, very smart animals. Also, deer have a great sense of smell. They can actually smell you from sometimes miles away. So you want to know what to use in order to conceal the smell of the human being. Another thing is you want to be able to lure the animal in closer to you. Remember, the closer you are to take your shot, the better chances you have of success. So you have to lure the deer in with what we call deer lures. They are smells that the deer would be familiar with. You know, obviously, the deer communicate with each other, and they communicate with each other, believe it or not, not only with their sounds, but with their urine. Urine has a tremendous smell that tells the deer a lot, especially during bow hunting season. So what you have to determine is what kind of lure that you want to use in order to attract the deer to you and near to you. Music